somehow erase all the Hello YouTube, today we're going to do a breakdown of the 3TO classic, Erase the Miles. Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today by request we have some more 3TO content that we're going to get to for you. I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you're getting something out of these videos and if you would be interested in some Skype sessions with me one-on-one, -on -one, you'll find a good email on me in the description of every video that I put up. So, on to Erase the Miles. This tune goes all the way back to 1991. The original um, configuration of the band recorded this on the first album that they did for Rebel Records. It's a Carl Jackson song, and it's, it's really powerful. It's the kind of from the perspective of a road musician, but anyone who travels and misses their family could relate to the song, and it's, it's a really cool arrangement and has been the most requested 3TO song down through all the years. So you got to hear the solo right there on the front of the video. That was from the Gettysburg Bluegrass Festival a few years back. I want to break down for you exactly what I'm playing on this. It's in the key of F. So you would probably recognize this double stop as a logical starting place. I've got my index finger on the third fret of the D string, and then my middle finger on the 5th fret of the G string. So many bluegrass lines start that way. And that's that shape that we can transpose to any different key signature. But by sticking with the race the miles, that's just kind of a, a little eat your vegetables thing for you there that you'll find other content like that on the channel. So this melody, I'm leading into a C note here on the A string. And you'll recognize the F major scale. We play that much of the scale. We have those pickup notes. Once we get to the F note on the 3rd fret, you're going to recognize this scale position. Hopefully you do. That's one of the most important shapes that we ever learn on the mandolin. And I'm playing right up the scale. So we do have a slide right there from the B to the C note, that's 2nd to 3rd fret on the A string, and then I'm going to sustain that note with tremolo. Oh, so right there, I'm stepping outside of the scale. I'm playing an E flat note, which is a... That's a flat 7. Actually playing it as a double stop by playing the 3rd fret on the E string at the same time. And that's going to pull the music right into the B flat chord that's about to happen. So you would note that that note that we would that it would function that way if you're playing an F chord and then you played an F7 then into the B flat. We're just doing that as part of the solo. So then into the B-flat chord, after that 7, again using the scale, I'm playing the 5th fret A string 
to the third fret A string, and then two double stops. I'm playing the third fret A and seventh fret D to pull into a B flat double or a B flat chord, but I'm playing as a double stop at five and eight. Now you're gonna recognize this next line as going right down the scale again. And this is very similar to some of the content you would find here where we talk about playing the scale in different intervals. It's just a nice artsy kind of way to walk back down from the B flat Right there, where we get back to the double stop that we started on, that's where the band would go back to an F chord. Last line. Look at those double stops. If you were familiar, With that F double stop scale that I'm playing there in thirds, I'm one, two, three, each one of those intervals. And then also playing a third above it. So you should recognize those shapes. That's going to make it easier. That's going to make you have a connection to the fretboard instead of just memorizing where to put your fingers to play this solo that you would actually have that fundamental that you could believe in yourself to be able to play over. Let me go from the top again. There they are. So look how we're ending that. A after we play the double stops, back up the scale to work my way into that C chord. And you can see that shape is exactly what we started with on F. Move to the two middle strings, third fret A, fifth fret D. After I get to this C position, I'm basically using an arpeggio thought. Back to that shape, another double stop. And that last line you would recognize this series of double stops, especially if you're familiar with that version of a double stop scale. And you'll find content here on the channel for any of these scale things that I'm talking about. I don't like to really go into that territory with a song breakdown video because it makes these videos end up being so long. And that's what the, the more eat your vegetables content that's on the channel is all about. So if you do struggle with the thought, if I say, okay, we're playing out of this arpeggio or we're using a particular double stop scale, check out some of the other videos that you'll find here and then you can kind of build yourself within the fundamental ways that you need to and then come back and revisit this. That's the way that we could kind of use the channel to grow. But I hope you guys like this. It, again, it's by request. People have wanted more song specific content as well as 3TO content. And I certainly want to move in the direction um, of things that you guys have reached out about. During my lull with the channel, um, during the summer of, of 2022, we were really busy and I didn't get content out. And I, I want to thank everyone. I really appreciate all the requests that you guys have emailed me because it makes it easy for me to kind of know which direction to go and gives me ideas, you know, for all the material that we could put up here.